Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about a game that wasn't actually talked about at E3 2021, but was a game announced back in 2017. Uh, yeah, we're not talking about Metro Prime though. I mean, I know that's what you probably were hoping this video was about, but you've seen the title. Before we get into this video, I gotta remind you that we have a current giveaway going on. We are giving away two copies of Skyward Sword HD. Uh, if you head down to the description, there'll be details on how to enter. I wish everyone luck and we'll have those winners picked the day before Skyward Sword HD comes out. That's right, folks. Today we're gonna be talking about Bayonetta 3. This game was announced back at the Game Awards in 2017. And I feel like every single year I keep predicting it's going to reappear at the Game Awards again, and then it doesn't. Uh, so that sucks, but uh, we keep getting these updates about how it's progressing well. But there's always been these these little tidbits here and there that make us feel like, ah, is it really? Uh, Camilla recently, uh, th this was like, you know, a few months back, was like, hey, look, you know, we'd love to talk more about this game, but we just can't. We factually can't talk more about this game. Why can't we talk more about this game? Well, uh, because Nintendo won't let us. Nintendo is in control of it. Nintendo decides everything. So Nintendo finally actually opened up and talked about this game a little bit. But before we do, I want to mention that Kamiya himself seems to be fairly annoyed. Uh, this is according to a Kotaku um, you know, article, but he, he actually put this out on Twitter. And I'm going with Kotaku because they have actual translators, not Google Translate. Uh, and he, he he's really annoyed with people asking about this game. Uh, I think he, of all people, really want this game unveiled so you can just stop being pestered about it. Uh, but here's what he wrote on Twitter, uh, according to Kotaku. He said, I get why people say, hurry up and release info or show us something. But reckless remarks like, has development stopped? Or I guess it's been delayed are nothing but annoying public waste. Camille replied to tweets by those suggesting the development had stopped, calling those Twitter users Kuso Baka, a.k.a. effing idiots. Uh, he did seem irritated with the speculation, especially because he's previously indicated things are progressing well. And Kamiya on Twitter is uh, a bit of a hot fire. Um, he says a lot of rude things. He blocks people just for speaking in different languages. Uh, yeah, he, he's, he's pretty aggressive in how he reacts on Twitter. And people sometimes have fun with it, seeing how fast they can get banned by Kamiya. Uh, and he sometimes plays around with them, with it, toys with them before finally banning them um, or blocking them, I guess I should say. So, yeah, it, it's very interesting um, just seeing that he is annoyed. And I bet you uh, Kamiya is annoyed. I, I, I'm sure it's got to be uh, kind of like Sakurai, who's always pestered on Twitter and other social platforms all the time. Who's going to add to Smash? Why don't you do this with Smash? Why don't you add this? Why don't you add that? Kamiya's going to ask the same thing about Bayonetta pretty much every turn by Nintendo fans. Hey, why haven't we seen it? Is development going okay? We keep telling you it's progressing well, but you know because you haven't seen it, it means that there's problems. And to be clear... Uh, it's not necessarily without warrant. Uh, if you kind of look at Platinum, yes, they got Astral Chain out, which was absolutely fantastic. But Platinum hasn't exactly kept their spotless record going of late. Obviously, we know Microsoft ended up canceling Scalebound on them after it was going way over budget and just wasn't coming along the way Microsoft hoped. Uh, so they eventually said, screw up, we're pulling the plug. We're not going to keep sinking money into something. We don't think Platinum, yes, Platinum Games is actually going to fish it, finish and then we recently saw Babylon's Fall during E3, and while it looked impressive the first time around, the second time they've shown it at E3, it didn't quite blow people's socks off like they were expecting. So that doesn't mean it's going to end up being a bad game. We don't know the game's not here yet. But the point is that obviously Platinum uh, had a reputation for basically releasing hit after hit, even if it was often hits that don't sell very well. The Wonderful 101 is an amazing game, but it didn't sell very well. So... Uh, but you could always count on them to be quality experiences, and some of that reputation feels a bit tarnished. And now people are worried, well, hey, Babylon's Fall didn't look that great. You just canceled Scalebound, or at least had it canceled on you because you were failing to meet expectations in development. You know, it, it, it's kind of, it, is Bayonetta 3 in development hell? Is that why we haven't seen it? And to be fair, it's been four years. From announcement to four years later, we still haven't seen the game. It feels odd. But... Nintendo swooping in finally to talk, right? And this comes uh, from an interview on YouTube posted by uh, Video Game Chronicles. And uh, yeah, uh, Games Radar had some things to ask. This is the people who performed the interview on YouTube. Um, and they asked, 
Nate Bildorf and Bill Trennan, both from Nintendo. Um, Nintendo Trios in, in specific, although obviously Bill Trennan's actually risen up the ranks and has a slightly altered position, but he still obviously works in Trios here and there. Uh, he was originally a games translator. Uh, and you guys might remember him from the past. He used to be the official translator for Miyamoto, uh, Eiji Inomo, and others at big events like E3. But he's obviously moved on to, to bigger roles at Nintendo. And Games Radar said, where is Bayonetta 3? Does it still exist? We're dying out here. Are you going to show it to us again? What's the deal here? Which we never really saw it in the first place. So again, it's kind of weird. We, we, we saw a, a, a pre-cut CGI with, 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 with the logo. It, it was just... It's basically the Metro Prime 4 logo all over again. Nate Bildorf says, it definitely still exists. I can confirm it. Okay. I mean, that's good. But what did Bill Trennan say? He wanted to go a step further. I will even go one further and say, not only does it exist, but it's progressing well. There's that word again, progressing well. Oh, Bill Trennan, come on. Um, we like to show things whenever we're ready to show them. And certainly, we'd like to show things when the developers are ready to show them. So we didn't have it at E3, but stay tuned. So either Nintendo's not ready to show it, or the developers aren't ready to show it. The developers previously said Nintendo's not ready to show it, but they're ready to show it. And now he's saying that, hey, we not, might not be ready to show it, but they might not be ready to show it. It's really, it's a really weird thing. I, Bayonetta 3 exists. I, I, I think that was the big thing to take, take away from this little snippet of the interview is, Bayonetta 3 still exists. It's not vaporware. It's not going to be in development hell, or it isn't in development hell. Or at least they're not saying it is. Uh, he repeated the words progressing well, but Bill Trinan's like, hey, I'm like, hey, we're going to show it when we're ready to show it. And later on, it was basically hinted uh, by Bill Trinan. Basically, there's not there's, there's not an exact quote here in the interview. Uh, the interview basically suggests what Bill, Bill Trinan heavily suggested that he has seen Bayonetta 3. So he won't give any details, of course, but I mean, I would assume. Uh, you know, Bill Trinan, who's worked his way up the ladder at Nintendo of America, probably has seen most of what Nintendo has up, coming up in the next couple of years, including Bayonetta 3, which I obviously think Bayonetta 3 is probably going to end up being a 2022 title. How that slots in with all the other big 2022 titles, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it, it's been a long time since we've had Bayonetta, and it feels weird that we were able to turn around and get such a quick turnaround on Bayonetta 2 on Wii U, and it's taking even longer for Switch. Uh, there's some speculation around that. Some people wondering if, um, you know, Platinum wanted a bit more power to do some interesting things, and maybe it's being pushed and pushed and pushed, waiting for that supposed Switch Pro. I, I, I know the, it hurts to even mention the name Switch Pro. Um, new Nintendo Switch. Right? Maybe we should call it that for now. The supposed new Nintendo Switch. Uh, but, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Nobody knows but Nintendo and obviously Platinum, and nobody's talking. Nobody's willing to give us any details other than the game exists, it's progressing well, some people have seen it, and that's about it. That's what we're going to get. Um, stay tuned. That I don't know. I feel like it's not going to get unveiled this year. Maybe it does. Maybe this is the year we say, hey, we're finally going to get it unveiled, the actual gameplay at the Game Awards 2021. Maybe. Then maybe not. <laughs> this is such a, such a confusing situation. Anyways, before I get into this video... Anyways, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, you're not going to see much of me tonight. I won't be streaming tonight. I don't believe I'm going to have a video tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to have time. Uh, tomorrow is my sister's wedding. Today, uh, later today, we have rehearsal and all the jazz and the actual wedding tomorrow that goes all, you know, start, everything starts in the morning. You guys, if you've never been on a wedding, I don't know if you understand how it works. Everything starts in the morning, even though the wedding's in the afternoon. Then you have the reception going all the way to midnight. And then obviously, uh, you, I, I'm in the wedding, so I got to be at the gift opening the next day on Sunday, so my Sunday is pretty full up as well, although might get a chance to rest in there sometime, but I don't know if I'll get a video out. Uh, so it might be a weekend less uh, without videos, but it is what it is, uh, family first. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys end up having an amazing weekend yourself, uh, and I'll catch you in the next video, or stream, or whatever comes next.